What's up, YouTube world? This is um, we're gonna talk about hedge trimmers. Um, can you buy the uh, more affordable ones, or do you have to go out there and buy Echo and Steel? Spend uh, anywhere from five to eight hundred, maybe a thousand dollars. My experience has been up to this point. Um, even the more affordable seventy to a hundred dollar set of um, Hedge trimmers that you buy, you know, they're kind of attachments for your home-based uh, um, individuals, residential uh, users, the weekend warrior. Um, those hedge trimmers are fine. Those are attachments, Ryobi, uh, I think they're clicking something. Uh, I forget what they're called, but, you know, I mean, you don't have to go out there and spend the $500 to $800,000 just because uh, you just got in the business and you, you feel like you have to have the latest and greatest. Um, I have uh, Husqvarna um, power heads. I use the uh, attachments. Um, and uh, I've never had to replace the uh, um, trimmer heads, the attachments, quite yet. And uh, I hope that I don't have to do it in the future. But when you... Uh, start making the bigger money you can go out there and spend the more expensive uh, you know buy the more expensive stuff that might last you longer but you also become a, a target um, once people see you have the nice shit uh, they, they seem to like just want to take it so uh, sometimes it's easier or best not to have the most expensive equipment something more affordable something that um, if get, if it gets stolen, you don't have to make a insurance claim to uh, get it replaced. That you can go out today and replace it, unless you you know make enough money once again to buy the steel and the echo and the other fancy brands, uh, Red Max uh, hedge trimmers, the um, articulating uh, style hedge trimmers. I have. Uh, articulating head trimmers I've owned them for at least three years uh, I really haven't had to replace them I sharp them sharpen them as needed um, I really never had been been in a situation where you know I mean they just could not trim whatever uh, they, they trim what they need to they might get stuck in a branch but you know what they're not torn up the gears are not torn up um, now I, I've had uh, echo trimmers, uh, the you know the handheld ones, uh, not not the uh, attachment style where you have the power head with a, a trimmer, you know edger uh, for the um, your sidewalk edger. But I've had uh, handheld. Uh, I think it's HC 152s. It's a 26 inch uh, bar. I've never had an issue uh, with my echo. But I did get it stuck in a bush because that particular customer had an overgrown bush in their hedges. And they had some kind of fancy uh, metal ornament that was still in there that they totally forgot about. So um, kind of kind of messed up the uh, blade a little bit. But I don't really have to worry about it because I got it fixed. Uh, the speed works fine. Everything works good. But once again, do you have to go out there and spend five hundred to a thousand dollars on some kind of articulating uh, hedge trimmers? No, you don't. Uh, buy what you can afford. Get the articulating hedge trimmers that are just fine for everyday use at Lowe's or Home Depot just to get started. And I've owned mine for three years now and I really have not had a problem I haven't had to replace them yet they work fine um, I can use them for long periods of time and uh, all the hedges that I've done look really good so just think about it save yourself some money in the beginning and uh, go with something affordable thanks again